Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my precious pack, and welcome back once more to Vega Conflict, and it's time to do something entertaining, and it's time to take a look at the Artemis. Now that it's in-game, well, not really take a look at, we're going to talk about it, and tomorrow I'm going to showcase some stuff. The reason I'm not showcasing today, it's like an hour before I go to sleep and I haven't recorded any clips, and I'm not going to fight anything right now because I have two hilarious things I want to share instead. The first is going to be the utter disappointment that is the Artemis that has launched over what I thought it was going to be. Every expectation I had has basically just fallen away. And the other is going to be the Volt driver that came with it. Now, the Volt in my eyes, since a certain person shared something with me that triggered a thought, <laughs> became absolutely hilarious. So, the Volt is more important because it's going to be your best kiting weapon. Because what if we told you that you could boost a Dreadnought's weapon range up from 8,000 to 9,250? Yeah, I completely forgot we have a thing called Beam Capacitor. As well as Focused Optics. Yeah. Add two and two together. We got an Energy Driver. Both of them affect Energy Weapons. Needless to say, I've already tested it, and it's working currently, but you can boost the weapon range of Volt up using Beam Capacitor and the Focused Optics. You can get it up to 9,250 with Focused Optics, or 9,200 flat with the Beam Capacitor. So, kite to your heart's content, because that's how it works, apparently. And as for the Artemis, I'm going to go over why it was a disappointment through, and what I've learned through tests and stuff like that and what I've already seen with it. So, first and foremost is you cannot spam drones with it. Uh, where's the description? Let's see here real quick. Uh, long range combat... Able to distract, outmaneuver, and dispose of enemies with ease. No, that is incorrect. That is not what it does. Let's go over what it actually does. So, Hunt, you would expect it to be decent, right? When 5,000 damage is done, Artemis will deploy a squadron of drones for 20 seconds in order to deal extra damage and distract enemies. That is exactly as it sounds. Except for you can't deploy more than one squadron of drones at a time. So the more damage you do after the initial launch, you're not going to be deploying additional drones. Second, they're kind of a disappointment. Because they don't really have much of anything going for them. Next up is the Vengeance Overdrive. When one hunt drone is destroyed or returns... Okay, let me just completely remove that one. Because when hunt drone is destroyed, because you only can deploy one at a time... When it's destroyed, it gains additional combat abilities. Fire disruption, charge disruption, yada yada yada. Basically, nothing relevant to the drone. Instead, it's all relevant to the ship, becoming more and more powerful. <sighs> Enjoy the yawns, because they're going to happen a lot until I end the video. So, fire disruption, whatnot like that, but so far... These are the most disappointing aspects of the Artemis. First and foremost is you can only deploy one drone. Second, the drone has such a low amount of health that most tier 6 ships can fart in its general direction and it will de be destroyed. They only have to be mark upgraded at that, they just have to be basic ships. Two, the drone's health does not regenerate when it lands, so when it goes back to the Artemis, or is destroyed, well, if it's destroyed, it'll spawn as a new one with new health. But if it returns to the Artemis, and you trigger the overdrive again, it launches the same heavily damaged drone as before. So it does not reset the health when it launches again. So that's a little bit funky, and I don't like how that functions at all. I also don't like the Vengeance Overdrive, and I think that it should be changed to be more drone-specific, so that the drone becomes more powerful when Vengeance is active instead of what it is now. But, 
that aside, that's actually all I want to talk about. I'll show gameplay of the Artemis tomorrow. Because so far, the disappointment of it, I don't really want to show it in the game now. It's also why I wait until now to talk about it because me being completely tired, I don't want to rant, I don't want to rave, I just want to quickly talk about it and then end the video. With that out of the way tomorrow, though, I'll be able to showcase the gameplay and then bring up the points further and show exactly what I mean in combat. So, look forward to tomorrow's video, and yes, there will be one for the weekend. It's being confirmed right now. But for now, everybody, be safe out there in my pack. Happy hunting, and as always, I'll see you later.